Liv back again, and it's another Monday, and that means that we're going to play in this uh, journal. Yes, my other journal is still missing. If y'all have confiscated it and looking for ransom, could you please let me know? <laughs> it's a mess. I, I will find it eventually, I promise. But I'm going to go in here, and I'm using Deco Art Americana Premium Gesso. Um, so Deco Art does send me supplies from time to time, and this is one of the new supplies that they sent me. I typically use their um, Media Deco, uh, well, Media, y'all know what I'm talking about, the one that I use in the jar. Goodness gracious alive. All right. So as you can see, after I put the gesso down, I went in with the beautiful, very rich nickel azo gold. I love that by golden. It is just a very beautiful, rich tone. And I'm just going in with my finger and just haphazardly slapping some gesso down. And then I saw out of the corner of my eye this sweet, sweet, sweet lady, um, Susan in Tasmania, sent me this um, lovely Happy Mail. And out of the corner of my eye, I saw the little um, dotted bag. And I was like, well, this could be cool. And then I said, no, I don't think it's meant for this page. And so that happens sometimes. You just have to try stuff, lay it down, move it around. Um, and I'm going to use uh, my friend Michelle, who has a YouTube channel, Micklenay. You should go check her out. She uh, came to visit me recently and brought me some of those mer mermaid inks. Um, I had never tried the mermaid inks because I have so many inks, but I'm, I'm really happy that, um, she brought me those because it's, it's a very beautiful color and very easy to work with. I love the flow to it and how it's very transparent. So, in the process of putting that down, and you know how I love to lift up um, different um, pieces of ink and things with different papers that I have all around. You know, paper is just like everywhere I look, there's paper. And I'm even trying to clean up, and I'm not doing so hot. So, I just decided, because I kept looking at this tea um, stained paper that I just used to pick up that mermaid ink and I was like oh I really am feeling that let's just slap it down and sometimes guys you just have to go with your gut and you have to be like let me slap it down and let's see what happens here hope you didn't get drunk as I was zooming in <laughs> um, but I'm just taking some of the random bits that I had and I'm just going to glue it down and kind of see where that takes us I talk a lot about letting kind of the pages speak to us and that's why I never have a plan. I just kind of go with the flow of what feels good and what it's more of a feeling than anything as I ramble along. I'm so glad y'all joined me to watch my crazy shenanigan videos. I know you get a giggle out of how nuts I am, but this is real life and this is really how crazy I am. So I'm going in here with some of this very beautiful color um, in the, um, that was, what's that? Um, Glimmer Mist, I think it's called. And I really like, like, how rich, and I think this is kind of making me think of, like, a fall. I've done a lot of palettes here lately that's kind of, like, more fallish colors. Well, I tried some uh, fiber paste. Yeah, I think the fiber paste is done. I think it's dried out. I don't think there's any reviving it. Um, I did try to uh, move the fiber paste around, added a little water, tried to see if I could get it to do anything. It just didn't work. So, um, <laughs> I'm showing you there. So, I'm chalking that up to it's going to find its way into uh, the dumpster. And I found this cool magazine. It's called Click. And in Click Magazine, this wonderful, wonderful um magazine that has all of these cool images that you can use. I found uh, the work of uh, this young lady who does it in black and white, like uh, the majority of her um, photos are in black and white. I'll make sure to link her and credit her below. Um, her name is uh, Katie Matika, 
and she has seven beautiful daughters and wow seven girls that's amazing huh and so I cut that out of the magazine and I'm going to use it and I really love her images so make sure that you um you know find her and support her and uh she's on Instagram and she was in that magazine so I went in there with my distress inks because I felt like it needed a little bit more of that green that minty green that we had pulled from the uh the mermaid inks is it called mermaid inks Jane Davenport inks I'm not really sure and I fiddle farted with her for these um this image a little bit because I really couldn't it wasn't coming together like I felt like this image should. And so I did take a break and come back to it. I wanted to lift it up a little bit and because I wanted it to be a little higher on the page. And I did take a break and sometimes that's what we have to do when we get a little stuck. Because I really wanted this to really pop off the page. The image is just absolutely adorable. I had some rusty, um, that's a rusty tablecloth that I rusted. Um, I show a lot on my Instagram stories. I'll show you, you know, when I'm doing my uh, rusting bits and stuff. Because it's so hot and humid here, rusting is no problem. So, I had that little giblet there on my desk. And so, I tinkered with it, and then I went in with my beloved masking tape because I wasn't sure if I was going to, uh, I was coming a little short to the full page of that. And so, I take a break, and I come back the next day, because we have to do that sometimes, you know, take a break, breathe. And then I took and I actually did a different strip, and I did cheesecloth, and I ran that through um the sewing machine back and forth a few times and i love it oh my gosh and i'm gonna attach it with the uh, tim holtz tiny attacher <clears throat> and i just really really think that it gave it what it needed and then i let it go over the edge <clears throat> and over the edge the other way and i really really like it so i am wanting to get uh more messy and more um use my handwriting more and so here i just did a little handwriting that says sisterhood because i don't have biological sisters i don't have sisters but the sisterhood of the art sisters that's family to me so i have found a whole tribe of people that cheer me on that root for me and they to me are sisterhood so i wanted to kind of capture that moment and kind of what i was thinking when i saw these absolutely adorable kids down here in the black and white photo i wanted them to stand away from the background a little more so that's what i'm doing here is with the blending stomp and i'm going to grab a charcoal pencil and i'm just going to kind of ever so lightly go around and give them a smoky shadowy texture behind them just very so lightly just it doesn't even make a ton of difference but um i felt like i wanted them to kind of to be the center of this in the sisterhood um page so guys i love having you every single video you guys always blow me away with how many likes and, and subscribe and all the comments that i get so make sure that you share my videos tell somebody about this southern gal invite me into your uh, into your studio so that you can art with me. So I hope you will do the same today. Click that subscribe button and make sure you find me on Instagram. Until next time, toodaloo!